Hey guys, welcome to The Fish Room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a Species Spotlight. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most underrated fish in the aquarium hobby, the white cloud mountain minnow, or to nick these albinoobs. I'm sitting here in front of one of my 75 gallon quarantines where I have a hundred of them um, just waiting for their forever homes. Now, there's a lot of reasons I really love this fish. Um, they are cheap, they're beautiful, they're easy to breed, they're basically bomb proof taking a wide range of parameters. And if you remember correctly, I even stocked my 150 gallon Asian Hillstream tank with them for this very reason. So let's take a look. Now I've come over to my 150 gallon um, to be able to show you guys at full maturity. You can see that these guys just have some really stunning color with those red fins and that sort of that golden yellow sheen to their body. Now there's a range of sizes in this tank because they've been spawning like mad. So these guys are from the actually the White Cloud Mountain which is where they get their name in China and they come from um, mountain streams that are spring fed so really clear water and very cool water and in an aquarium you can keep them anywhere from high 50s to mid 70s a pH range of six to eight and a half I mean they're really really a very versatile fish um, I chose to put them in here just because they could really utilize that current and you can see them playing in it here they just love it but it's certainly not required What's also interesting about these guys is that they're actually a critically endangered species. In fact, from, about, from the 80s to the early 2000s, they thought that they were completely gone from the wild. And it wasn't until the mid, maybe like around 2005, I think, that they, they found new populations in the wild. So all the, the fish that are available for sale in the hobby are actually commercially produced, meaning they come from Asian farms from Florida fish farms or even from hobbyists like me. I mean, I breed hundreds to thousands of these each year. And this spring, when I set up my tubs outside, I'll, I'll show you how I do that again. Uh, they spawn almost constantly when they're at this adult size. And the eggs hatch in about two days. Now you'll want either to mop spawn them or provide really thick plants because they will eat the fry and the eggs as most fish, especially cyprinids, will. They also exhibit their best coloration in the tank that's planted, or one that has a dark substrate. The females are fatter, slightly larger. You can see a female in the middle there with a male below her. They're really easy to feed. They'll eat pretty much anything, flakes, frozen, pellets, live, so there's a juvenile there. Actually, what's also interesting about these guys is that they've also been called the poor man's neon. In their juvenile color phase, they're actually a blue color and look very much like a neon tetra. Sometimes you can even find these guys in the feeder bins at pet stores. I just think they're phenomenal. There's a juvenile there. You can see that blue green color. It's almost hit. It's almost out of that phase. So you can see they're just really striking, active, beautiful fish. And really excellent for a plan of the aquarium, especially if you're trying to minimize the equipment in the tank. Don't mind that rainbow shiner. Get out of the way, Big Bertha. Um, because they don't require a heater. Really phenomenal. I, I definitely think everyone should keep this fish at some point. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. I also want to remind you that the big fish deal in Gaithersburg, Maryland is just a month away, and I would really love to see a lot of you there. I'll be selling on the Sunday Marketplace, and I'll be there all weekend just hanging out. So it'd be great to get to meet some of you there. I will put the information in the comments for this video.